Hello everyone! Today I want to tell you a little about SelfCAP. This is a program for 3D modeling and the coolest thing I can use it online. You didn't have to download anything on your computer. All you need is a middle-range computer, the latest version of modern browser and of course the internet. After a simple registration you will see this page. Click Launch Editor here. This is a window where you can see all saved projects that you have made and can work with. To create a new project, click on the Create new project button. A small window will be appear here where you can confirm your workspace. There are workspace size, segment grid and the orientation of the X, Y, Z coordinates. If you have an experience in using other programs, then you can select the one that will be more convenient for you. In SelfCAP, the default is Y as the height. And so you know all the settings, it's time to click Create new project button. It takes you to the workspace. You can see the navigation panel at the top and the toolbar a little lower. And on the right, the object control panel is disposed. In the middle of the screen, we have our workspace in which we can create unbelievable models. If you need to control the camera, just hold the left mouse button and twist as you like. To move left, right, up or down, hold down the mouse scroll. Everything is so simple, right? Also, the camera can be controlled using the rotation cube, which is located here on the left corner. You can click on one of the sides and the camera will be the desired angle inside. If it happened that you got lost somehow in the workspace, and your camera has been moving somewhere and you don't understand where you are, don't panic, just click on reset camera and you will be returned to the working scene. There is also a choice of perspective. There is standard perspective. This is how we see all objects in the real world, how they move away at an angle. and orthographic. This perspective is also colored incorrect or, as they say, completely without perspective. Let me show it to you. In orthographic, if we move our cube, we see no more sides. Neither left, no right, no from above, nothing, only one side of it. If we select the correct perspective, then when moving the camera we can see the other side of the object as well as the current projection. It's so cool that after creating a project, SelfCard by default offers use a simple cube right in the center of the workspace. We can work with it or delete it and create something of our own. Object can be deleted using the delete button. First, you need to select it and click delete. The program will offer you to remove or not. You can also remove it from the panel. Here we have delete and delete all. Delete all objects, delete. To create a new object, there is 3D shape tape on the toolbar. Let's take a look into it. To create a new one, we just need to drag the mouse or click on the Eat and Set specific settings.
then click OK. As you can see, all of the objects that we created appear on the right in the object panel. To select an object, we just need to click on it or click on the circle in the object panel. To select all objects, hold down the right mouse button and draw a green rectangle. Everything that is in the green area will be selected. If we draw on the contrary, from top to bottom we will have a blue rectangle. It will select on the toes object that completely fell into the selection area. See, we hooked the toes, but it wasn't fully selected. And so the program selected only three of our objects. If we select only half of the object site, then it will be selected. Agree? It's so simple and useful. To hide an object or isolate them. Here we have drop-down option. For example, take a cube and click hide. It will disappear. This is necessary if we want to prevent ourselves from modeling another object. To return the cube back to the scene, click here on the A icon. Also, the object can be locked and you can't do anything with it. For example, you can't accidentally delete or select it. This action will be ignored. To unlock, press the lock again. There is also the option that allows you to isolate the object and you will work only with this one. As you can see, all the objects were simply hidden. To show them we can click on the A icon or each object or select the show all option. Now consider the basic tools to work with objects. Here on the toolbar we see the transformation tools – move, rotate and scale. Consider the first – move. You can move the object left, right, up and down as you wish. If you take the gizmo in the middle, you can move it randomly wherever you need. The next tool is Rotate. It has the free point which helps you rotate the objects in the way you need. If you move the mouse to the middle of the circle, the object will be rotated in the certain division. If we move the mouse outside the circle, we can set a more accurate and smoother rotate. The next tool is Scale. It resizes the objects. We can hold the mouse in the center of the gizmo and pull it in different directions. Thus, the object is uniformly deformed in all directions in a separate direction if we need.
To return the action, we have the under option on the panel. Or you can use the well no combination of Ctrl Z. So, as you may see, everything is very simple. We will talk about the following tools a bit later. Thanks for watching and see you soon.